Nasdaq 100 has shown a massive breakout in the last week we discussed it is consolidating with a bullish triangle and a breakout is going to be very very strong since 13200 we had predicted that beyond 13200 this target is 13500 and beyond 13500 we will see 13800 and 14000 levels it has precisely gone to 13900 I hope you all profited there. Now what to expect next week? Is it going to continue this bull, bull run and if yes, how far it can stretch or possibly it can re stretch or retrace a little on the downside. So which position you should take in order to profit trading tech 100 next week? We will see with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards the end I will give you the trading levels and strategy for next week. Do watch till the end and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the daily analysis and targets which i share for nasdaq 100 also you can find the same by joining our free telegram channel where you, i share my live updates of the market the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first we look into charts followed with indicators towards the end i will give you the trading levels and strategies to so do watch till the end here now firstly on the daily chart see uh at this point we had seen that it has formed a bottom then rise then the flag formation then this rise and this is a breakout journey we had predicted that this is a breakout which it may try to continue and it you can see this it has breached this previous high this time now if you look at also see the breakout was so strong it consolidated here in this zone formed an ascending triangle and then this breakout is and hence now 13500 is going to be a very very strong support see from this tipping point it has started this journey on the upside so these levels at 13500 are going to remain a very strong support for now and if you look at the formation here see forming the top there we have seen a red candle a retracement candle because the breakout was extremely strong here and hence for next couple of days it can try to show you a little retracement possibly 13600 or 13500 levels and then resume its upward journey again now if you look closely see this is the channel in which it is trying to trade the support there on the downside is going to come into picture at 13600 and 13500 zone only below 13600 there could be little more bearishness rather below 13580 570 little more bearishness can be seen for 13500 levels but 13500 is going to remain an extremely good support here for next few days so we have seen in the recent past that Nasdaq 100 was earlier trading in this bearish channel for months. Now after forming the triple bottom it has shown a bullish breakout and this breakout may continue with the upward momentum. The high is right now looking at around 15,000 levels if it continues its upward journey from here. That is the first part. Now look at the weekly. On the weekly charts too see it consolidated here, narrowed here and then this breakout. This is the first green candle here yes the next week it can try to stretch a little on the downside but it is still going to be considered bullish this is the first bullish candle here on the weekly charts and hence it can if not a bearish candle it can try to either give a retracement candle not breaking below 13500 400 levels or 13350 levels and uh, possibly a support getting the support from 13600 getting the pullback on the upside if it does it will definitely going to give you a breakout beyond 14,000 certainly is going to take it till 14,400 levels. So look at the weekly chart see the higher lows higher highs support there going to come at 13,600 13,500 levels and on the worst case if it retraces completely if it tries to reverse completely these levels at 13,300 going to be very very good support there. So uh, in all probability till the time 13600 and 500 are respected possibility of a reversal will exist strong if it draws below 13500 then we have to be little bit cautious we can expect 13350 200 levels as the next support levels on the downside but this is going to be the case where we see an, a complete reversal complete pullback complete downtrend then and then only chances are less because this is the first breakout candle second might follow here now look at the monthly chart now if you look at the monthly charts we have discussed several times that it has formed a very good base here and we had also discussed that the stronger the base the taller the building and right now it, the building is going to remain tall it is possibly by month end we may see it hitting 14400 14800 15000 levels also in all probability 
it may remain bullish for the near term where you can expect it to rise a little this is one probability second is see uh right now getting the resistance at around 14000 it can try to limit its movement within this zone consolidate here and then next month show you a, another strong or bullish candle there hence anyways in near term it is going to stay bullish that is for sure but whether this is going to happen in this candle itself or the next candle that is something we'll look here now see the preceding candle was a stepping stone you can see the movement here was almost 1200 and the movement from 13200 1200 points is 14400 levels and hence first resistance at 14000 and then at 14400 it might stretch its journey on the upside till the time it stretches, uh, stays above 13600 13500 next week it may continue with the upward journey from here be careful with the shorts there again telling you till the time it stays above 13200 levels be careful with your shorts there remember this fact i am going to still remain bullish and since this zone in the consolidation levels we have always stayed bullish here now let's have a look with the help of indicators what are the indicators are now see indicators on the monthly charts you can see have started to, uh, to diverge the moving averages have started to diverge it is taking the support from the 20 months average and it has already left behind these averages now this is a bullish sign here at the same time the super trend is still on sell till 16,000 levels, 15,800 levels. The stock IST has come to extremely overbought levels and whatever it is going to achieve, it will try to do within this month itself. From next month, it may try to show a little consolidation. If it else, it can try to fall short of this and then next month again show the bullish candle. This is also one probability. Now, look at what we had seen and why I have told you all-time highs. Because of this, the MACD has seen an extreme fall it has come to the bottom it is trying to cross over and we may see see nasdaq 100 is the one which is staying well below uh, it is underperforming the indices across the globe and it has not come back to the terms not come back to the levels what we had seen at the pre-covid area where most of the indices have seen all-time high levels again it has breached all-time high levels again most of the indices are trading bullish nasdaq 100 has still now lagged behind possibility exists that from here it can try to stress the run for a little while see this was the sharpest fall and we had also seen earlier in our analysis that this was the bottom it has seen the rise it has come to the bottom and this is almost for last 15 years and hence a recovery from here cannot be denied thus i will still remain bullish for nasdaq 100 for the near term rsi is also started to look upwards now if you look at the weekly now most importantly on the weekly chart there is a crossover for the 20 50 and 100 period moving average 20 period is starting to look upwards with an aggressive slope while 50 and 100 also looking forward to a crossover on the downside the levels if in the worst case it looks forward to an extreme fall 12 500 is going to be the extremely strong so now this is also a bullish sign for nasdaq 100 that it can even if it retraces every drop till 13200 levels in fact 12 500 levels in the mid term is an opportunity for you to accumulate more now super trend has also turned bullish with the support at 12000 if you look at the monthly uh, weekly stock stochastic this is only the point where i am getting a bit cautious that it is overbought but look at this at this point also it was overbought it stretches the run for a little while might retrace a little with a sharper fall and then again resumes it upward move now also if you look at higher lows are seen here and hence it can try to fall in this formation now if you look at macd this is also divergent and bullish looking upwards and this is after ha happening after triple cross here and we had seen this earlier in our discussion many a times that it can try to hit this zone so it can try to form the double top here and then stabilize there for a little while rsi also looking upwards trading bullish and if you look at the daily chart now see this is where i am coming from it has started to diverge from the moving averages the moving averages are falling are also started to diverge looking upwards aggressively hence for next couple of days there could be a little convergence that the moving averages uh, come back to 13,500-600 level then it retraces still towards those and th then the bounce back can be seen so this is where also this is trading outside Bollinger Bands and hence a little pullback cannot be denied for 13,600-500 levels but do not consider this as bearish accumulate more till the time it stays beyond 13,200 levels 
possibility of it to rise exist a stock IST on the daily charts is also overbought and hence a little retracement can be expected the MACD is divergent bullish looking upwards and in all probabilities that it can try to continue with its upward journey from here RSI is also overbought so now overbought indicators on the daily charts indicates that there could be a little retracement for next couple of days until midweek we can see it coming back to 13500 levels in fact it can try to breach those levels but do not consider this as bearish till 13200 achieving those levels you can accumulate more and possibly you can expect a reversal from there expecting it to achieve higher highs there now we have seen the charts you've seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategies so that you can trade profitably next week now before i provide you the levels i have a couple of requests first i do not run any investment scheme where you are promised to get a multifold return with a mere smaller investment remember nobody in the world will do so if he can do with a smaller investment he will do it with his own money and keep doing it till he becomes a millionaire second point i do not run any uh, investment scheme i do not run any schemes where you get a multifold return yes i only have two services first is my training program second is my signals channel but first let's come to the term so anyone i and my social media handles or uh, me my from my personal account or official account do not approach anyone seeking investment seeking money remember this fact we are not going to be the first one who are going to message you hence anyone approaching you on my name with my photo with my picture with my identity seeking investment please report him immediately please 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 report him immediately it's a fraudster who is claiming to be anki jain definitely it will be a fraudster so please report him second point is if you want to join my survey uh mentorship batch or my signals channel you can reach out to me via only my telegram or official email ids which are mentioned in the channel and video description also before making any payment get the confirmation from the official handles only with that let's start now you can buy here at 13 8 20 levels expect 13 8 80 And then if it breaks pass by, you can still expect 13900 because this was the previous high. You can still expect a little resistance at this. Else we are going to look at 13970, 14100 and then beyond this just stay long. We are going to look at 14400 levels in a very quick succession. It is going to happen in a very quick manner and hence once it stays above 14100 just stay long without thinking for a second time yes even if it you see a pullback every drop is an opportunity for you to accumulate more here so yes but beyond this we can see a definitely a stronger rise for 14400 levels in few sessions on the downside where to sell now you have to note these levels and anyways double top levels these two levels are needs to be breached in order to confirm the next target so till 14100 we have to remain extremely watchful on the downside yes you can sell here at 13740 levels below this 13660 13600 13570 and 13510 now these are very very good support levels if it breaches below these levels then you can expect that it can continue for a little while till 13400 13350 and then below that a further fall but remember till 13200 levels there are support existent hence you should not consider this as bearish till 13200 levels also first it has to break past by 13400 then 13400 3500 zone below that even if it tries to drop 13200 should be a greater greater support i do not see it retracing till there but yes a little retracement till 13600 is possible and that will be also creating or building making an opportunity to you bringing an opportunity to you to buy and then expect it to reverse from there any rise beyond 14000 just close your eyes stay long for 14100 14 14200 14400 levels 14400 will get achieved by the month and if it continues to stay bullish from here take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a tailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and join my mentorship by join my signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you